lot of guard is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing center of the soul and the spirit and the joints of the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself a prudent to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, in this unique dispensation of the church age, every word of the Lord is so much essential that we need to note that in the words written in Ecclesiastes 12, 11 and 12, in Proverbs 1, 7, it has been told for us, the words of the wise are like goads, and the words of scholars are like well-driven nails given by one shepherd, and further, my son, be admonished by this in Ecclesiastes 12, 11 and 12. In Proverbs 1, 7, we have, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. To explain this, H.R. and side, maybe many has written, don't know, but this thing stands go like this. In these words, we have the divine reason for the book of Proverbs. God would save all who heed what is there recorded from the heartbreaking experiences and aimless wanderings of the man who was chosen to write them. There are two ways of learning the emptiness of the world and the character of sin. One, the first method is by the far the commonest way, that is the common way, is to treat the thorny path each for himself. To do so is to taste the bitterness and be departed from God. The only right way is to learn in all in its presence, accepting his word regarding it. The very heart of Solomon need never to be the portion of the child of God who orders his steps in the truth. Human collections of wisdom are but the thoughts of men like ourselves. In the wisdom literature of the Bible, we have, as everywhere else in the scripture, the very breathings of the Spirit of God. That is what Theonos thought. This is amazing grace. To think that he who spoke worlds into the being, who brought redemption, who shall eventually bring in a new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwells righteousness, that he, the high and the lofty one, that inhabits eternity, should stoop in grace to give instruction for the details of his creatures, lives down here. This is cause for worship and admiration forever. What importance attaches to, do, to all I do if if the God who created and redeemed me does not consider it beneath his notice to instruct me concerning my behavior in the family, my place in society, and my methods in business. If I act in accordance with the book of Proverbs, I shall behave myself wisely in a perfect way. That's what in Psalms 1 and 2, in every relationship of life. Therefore, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, dear brethren, and what we can tell that we have been not here to collect the wisdom of men or the thoughts of men like others, but we are here to collect the wisdom literally of blood God, the Holy Spirit, as everywhere else in the scripture, the very breathings of blood God Almighty. And the, what grace can we ask than this? The greater amazing grace to think that he who spoke worlds into being, who brought redemption, who shall eventually bring in a new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwells righteousness, that he, the high and the lofty one that inhabited an eternity, should stoop down in grace and give instruction for the details of his creature lives. Down here, this is the cause which will be a great worship in worshiping in spirit and in truth and admiration forever. And therefore, dear brethren, what importance attaches to all I do if the God who created and redeemed me does not consider it beneath his notice to instruct me concerning my behavior in the family, society, and my business methods. If I act in accordance with the book of Proverbs, we shall say, behave myself wisely in a perfect way as per Psalms 101 and 2 in every relationship of life. And that is what you and I have been called. To know the doctrine, to know the instruction, to know the mind, to look and to understand understand the policy of privileges, to know and to look and to consider the wealth which has been given for us in eternity past, and the greater our failure to understand the simple truth, we are the believers who are not capable of realizing the reality of the world. Dear brethren, which way you want to go, you decide, but remember, you have been redeemed, you have been made perfect, so that you will be coming back again into the new heaven and the new earth, where only the righteousness of God will indwell, and you need to be very much careful enough to look and to understand to the simple fact that you are a property of holiness and you need to be instructed to stay in holiness and that holiness will come over here only in the Bible doctrine. If you ignore and neglect like Bible doctrine, now you are going to get hit. So remember, that after the completion of canon, we have doctrine, doctrine, and doctrine alone and there is nothing apart from doctrine. So if you want to go to this side,
Father, Amen.